So before we jump into this haul, I wanted to get on here really quick to let everyone know that tickets for Pet Fest are on sale now. If you don't know, Pet Fest is going to be on June 22nd in Phoenix, Arizona. It's going to be so much bigger and better than last year. There are so many creators coming this year. I think there's like 20 to 22 creators coming. So there's definitely going to be someone there that you'll want to meet. So if you're interested in coming to Pet Fest, I will put a link down in the description so you guys can go check out the website for more information and you can also go buy tickets. You can get general admission tickets for only $10 or you can get VIP tickets for $20. And the VIP comes with some pretty cool perks. So if you're interested in coming to Pet Fest, like I said, June 22nd in Phoenix, Arizona, more information will be down in the description. But that's all I wanted to jump on here and tell you guys really quick. I'm really excited. So let's jump into the video. Hey guys, so today I have a pretty decent sized haul to share with you. My favorite local pet store, which is called Pet World. World. I've shown it in a few of my vlogs. It is in Lawrence, Kansas. So if you're in Kansas, check it out. It's an amazing store. This video is not sponsored, although if you're watching from Pet World, hook me up because I spend way too much money in there. But last weekend, they had their big annual sale where everything in the store is on sale. Some stuff is like on a specific sale, but overall the entire store is 20% off. So my friend Megan and I went and checked it out. And of course I spent too much money, even though I did get some pretty good deals. So today I thought, I would do a haul. You might wonder where I'm filming. I'm actually just in a random corner in my living room because my pet room is a mess. I'm really tired so I didn't want to clean it up to film. I'm also just sitting on the floor because I did a lot today. I got a lot accomplished but I'm a little bit exhausted but I still wanted to get this video out for you guys because it has been a little bit since I posted. So before I show you what all I got I'm sure a lot of you saw the title which said new haul for a new pet. Not all of this is for a new pet, but yes, I did get a new animal. I'm not going to go into specifics. I know a lot of you are going to be really excited I got a new pet. A lot of you are going to be extremely disappointed in me that I got a new pet. But there's nothing I can do to convince people that it was the right decision. People are going to believe what they want. Personally, I feel like it was the right decision for me. And I don't feel like I would ever get a pet if I wasn't ready. But some people are going to disagree with my decision. That's fine if you don't agree with it, if you can't support me, whatever. But I don't want to get into that too much in this video because that's a whole nother topic. But yes, I did get a new pet. A lot of the stuff in this haul is for the new pet. I'm not going to be showing you who it is in this video. I'm going to save that for a later video because I want to let them settle in a little bit more. But I'm sure by the haul you'll probably be able to tell what type of animal it is. I'm going to save everything for the new pet until the end because I did get some stuff for my current pets too. So let's go ahead and get started with the haul. So first I just picked up one thing for both my dogs. I got them these bones. I've wanted to try these for a really long time but they kind of grossed me out so I haven't done it. But these are raw beef marrow bones. They're just actually frozen right now. I just grabbed them out of the freezer so I could film this. I do actually feed Steve a raw diet. I might end up transitioning Ellie, but she's extremely picky. But Steve is on a raw diet already and I thought he would really enjoy these. I don't know if Ellie will even eat one, but since I got one for Steve, I went ahead and got one for Ellie because I know while he has one, she'll feel left out if she doesn't get one. So I went ahead and got two. That way she can at least see it and try it if she wants it. So this is what I picked up for the dogs. Next Next I got a few things for my hamster and my gerbils. I actually saw a few things there that I've never seen before which I will show you in a bit but the first thing I picked up is just a whimsy chew. This is actually a dog dental chew that a lot of people use for hamsters. They're one of hamsters favorite chews so this is just a small alligator that I picked up for my dwarf hamster Gerg. Steve is right down here because it thinks it's his. Let's see if I can get him in frame. His nose, oh, can you see his nose? He's like right there. He thinks this is for him, but this is actually for my hamster. The next thing I got for my gerbils and my hamster is something I've never seen before. They're actually from another country. I don't know if it says where they're from, but it's definitely not in English. But these are just some little ice cream cone animal treats. So they were like a little waffle cone on the outside. And then they're actually filled with like a seed treat. I don't know if the seed treat goes all the way down in or if it's just at the top. I believe it's just at the top because they're a little top heavy. But I just thought these were really adorable and I never seen them before so I wanted to pick them up. Here is what the label looks like if anybody's interested. Let me know if you have them at your local stores. I've never seen them there before. I'm sure Gerg will absolutely love this. My gerbils aren't huge on treats, but since this is a seed-based treat, they might enjoy it. So I picked up two of these cute little ice cream cone treats. 
The next two items I picked up are actually from Oxbow. There was a huge display of Oxbow toys there that I had never seen before. They're actually all from a line from Oxbow called Enriched Life. I don't know if it's a new line that's just coming out, but I don't think that store's had it very long and I've never seen it anywhere else. There was a ton of stuff I wanted to get, but I actually ended up, I got three things for them. I think I'm gonna give everything or most of them to the gerbils just because they chew a ton, so I know they'll really enjoy it, especially one of these items. So the first thing I picked up is just called this Flip and Roll. So it is just a little cardboard disc. It is corrugated cardboard, so I know my gerbils will love it. And it looks like a really like natural cute little log. It just has paper on the outside. It's similar to if you bought the play and choose from my pet shop. It's like that same material. And then it just has like a little wicker ball in the middle. So I'm sure this won't last my gerbils very long at all. But I thought it was really cute and I know they will enjoy it. And I always love when I see new items because it's not that often you get new small pet items. So I picked up this. The next thing I picked up, there's actually three of them, so Gerg can't have at least one of these. These are just called the Shake, Rattle, and Roll. It just says, playful choose to nurture natural behaviors for rabbits, guinea pigs, and other small animals. So I'm not exactly sure what these are. I'm really awful at materials. But it's almost like a corn husk, like tissue paper on the outside, and then I'm guessing just a cardboard tube. And then there's something in the middle. I'll probably break one open before I actually give it to anyone, just to see actually what's in it to make sure it's safe. I'm sure it should be, and it probably says on the back if I actually read it but just to make sure I'll definitely check it out before I give it to anyone but I just thought these were some really cute toys so I picked up these and the last new item I got for my gerbils which I think they're going to love I'm pretty sure it was a little pricey even on sale but luckily I did get 20% off but this is just a play wall. They have these in two different sizes. This one is the large. So I'm sure it's made for more like guinea pigs or rabbits. But since my gerbils love toys like this, they love to chew. This has so many different textures on it. I went ahead and got the large. So this is just a pretty big mat that I can hang up on the side of their cage. And then it has three different hanging toys. These are actually just hooked on by like these little wood screws. And you can actually unscrew these and they sell replacements. So if an animal like chews on this part but they don't eat the mat, you can just like buy replacements or you could even make your own and hang on there. So I thought this was a really, really cool toy. It's something new, it's something natural. And I think chicken and waffles are going to love it. So the last four items I have here are all for my new pet. Like I said, I'm not going to be showing you my new pet in this video. But by the items I have and I'm going to be showing you, I'm guessing most of you will know by the end what my new pet is. So if you think you have an idea, let me know down in the comments. So the first thing I picked up is a new medium low Exoterra. I'm not going to pick it up and show you because it is pretty heavy, but I'll do an overlay on the screen so you guys can just see what it is in case you're not familiar with the size. But this is a 24 by 18 by 12 enclosure. They're usually $130 and I think that's pretty standard anywhere. They're usually about 120 to 140, but it was on sale for $91. So I definitely had to grab it since I was in the market for one already. I wasn't planning on buying an enclosure this soon because my new pet currently still is in a small quarantine tank, but I had to get one at some point and since it was on such a good sale, I definitely couldn't pass it up. So I did pick up an Exoterra. The next thing I picked up for the new pet is just this hide. This is a rock layer by Zilla. This is just a little hideaway and this is the small version. I've never actually tried this before. It's really heavy and I really like the texture of it. I think it will give them something fun to climb on but I just picked up this new hide from Zilla. The next thing I picked up is actually another hide from Zilla. This is just called the Herp Hotel and this is the medium even though I definitely would say it's more of a small size. But once again it's just a natural looking rock hideaway. One I've never tried before so I wanted to get some new stuff has a hole in the end plus a hole in the side and then it has these steps going up which I think is pretty cool. So once again it is a hide but it also doubles as some enrichment because they can climb on it and explore so I picked up this hide. And the very last thing I picked up for the new pet is this gecko dish. This will probably give it away if you hadn't guessed already but this is just a gecko dish. I have three of these already. It has two little compartments in it. You can either use it for food and water or water and like calcium. This is by the brand Exoterra. These are one of my favorite products. I've never seen them like at a chain pet store but you can find them on Amazon I know and I always find them at local pet stores which is where I've got all mine but these are one of my favorite dishes like I said this is the fourth one I have so I picked up a dish so that is everything I have to show you in this haul like I said if you have a guess on what my new pet is let me know down in the comments I know some of you are going to be disappointed and there's probably going to be some pretty not nice comments um I'll put it that way but 
I completely agree. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not going to try to convince you guys that it was the right decision for me because you're going to believe what you want. And as long as I feel like it was the right decision, that's all that really matters. Because as much as I do appreciate each and every one of you, I'm not going to let the internet make my decisions or make decisions based on what the internet's going to think. So let's not get into that too much right now. I think that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.